thank you for watching our video. My name is Philip Tarrant and we are the Old Timer Centre. And I'm going to talk to you about this very nice BMW 116i. I don't think you'll find one which has been as well looked after as this car. It was traded on a BMW 120i with 18,000 kilometres. It makes it, it's a manual, it's done 122,000 kilometres and it drives beautifully. It was garaged at night time and it was garaged in the daytime as well. So the owner of this car basically had a lock up garage at home and they also had a garage at work which is fantastic because sometimes you look at a car and it's, they say it's been garaged which is great, it's been garaged at night time and it's been parked in the sun down at the train station for the past 10 years. As you'll see by the condition of this car, it's excellent. And what's most impressive, and most important I would say, is the service history. It's great that it's a manual as well. See so with 126,000 kilometres on automatic, it'd probably be coming up for a major service or an overhaul on the transmission. But this is what's really impressive. And, you know, like I say, sometimes I'm sure there'll be a cheaper one online. I'm sure you'll find one for five or six or you know, $7,000, which is great. But you can't buy a cheap BMW, especially a 1 Series. You've got to buy the best one you can find for a fair price. And that's exactly what I think this car is. The last service was done this year at 122,000 kilometres by BMW Sydney. I'll go through the kilometres. So 122,000 kilometres, 115,000 kilometres... 107,000 kilometres, that was done at a independent, 101, 95, 88, 70, 60, and all this goes on. So it's been very well looked after. A lot of BMW services there and specialists, but at the moment the car drives it beautifully. And if someone's owned a 1 Series and they've traded on a 1 Series, which they've had for many years, I pretty much guarantee it's, it's been a good car for them. I, I wouldn't think that they'd buy a 1 Series if it's been been an issue but the condition is excellent I think it's great that it's a manual if you're looking for a first car or even a second car town car whatever it might be it's economical reliable safe and the lady owner who owned it was very fussy which is also evident in the tyres she's bought they're pretty big wheels and it's got continental tyres I'd like to say thanks very much for that. It's nice to see someone have some pride in their vehicle and actually care about their safety as opposed to just going online and or ringing a few tyre players say, what is the cheapest tyre you can offer me? Not taking into consideration that, you know, they're not rated to go, you know, to be driven at high speeds. They may have been made in overseas and they're just a general cheap tyre. They, they sound awful, they don't handle well. I mean, I, I always put Continental Michelin Pirelli tyres on, on my cars. But unfortunately, it's a bit of a rarity. The other thing I'll say is, I think you can tell a lot about a person by their tyres. I mean, look at that logbook, they obviously service the car well, we know it's been garaged. But if this car had two totally bald tyres on it and two cheap Chinese tyres, whatever they were, it would probably say a bit about the, the owner of the car as well. And it's not that they're Chinese, obviously, because <laughs> it's got Chinese tyres, it's because they, they want to spend as little as possible. You'd probably also find it's been serviced every 20,000 kilometres or two years. I think it's a very impressive car. It's very nice to see it's been well looked after. And if you've been looking at these one series, even if it's a little bit out of your budget, come and have a look because I think you'll, you'll see the value once you've driven the car. Thanks again for watching. Um, I'll finish up by saying it's registered until the 26th of June 2017. And we're marked for, as I mentioned earlier, 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. Thanks again for watching.